In this tutorial, I'm going to verify the Kelly-Hamilton theorem for the matrix A, which has elements 6520401391. The Kelly-Hamilton theorem states that every matrix is a zero of its characteristic polynomial. We denote the characteristic polynomial by Pn of lambda. So if we are saying every matrix is a zero of its characteristic polynomial, it means when you substitute a, where we have the lambda there, we will get the zero matrix. And you can write this as Pn of A is equals to zero, where this zero here is indicating the zero matrix. So what we have to do is uh, we have to find the characteristic polynomial of this matrix and then substitute the matrix A into the characteristic polynomial that we would have found. By definition, the characteristic polynomial is the determinant of A minus lambda i n. In this case, we are having our A is a 3 by 3 matrix. The I n there in the definition of the characteristic polynomial is the identity matrix with the same size as the given matrix. Our given matrix there is a 3 by 3, so we would have the identity 3 by 3 matrix. And that identity matrix there is being multiplied by a lambda. That will result in, in having lambdas on the diagonal. So we'll be having lambdas on the diagonal of a matrix which is being subtracted from the matrix A. This will result in subtracting lambda from uh, those elements on the diagonal of uh, the matrix A. So we would have the determinant of 6 minus lambda, 5, 2, 0, 4 minus lambda, 0, 1, 3, 9 minus lambda. We can now go on and evaluate that determinant using the row or column with the most number of zeros. In this case, uh, the second row there is two zeros. So that's the one that I will use to evaluate that determinant. So looking at uh, that element there, 4 minus lambda. When you are looking at the array of positive, negative, positive, negative, we note that the 4 minus lambda is sitting on a positive. So I'll go on and close the row and the column containing the 4 minus lambda and uh, taking note that it's sitting on a positive. So we we'll have 4 minus lambda multiplied by the determinant of the uncovered elements. 6 minus lambda, 2, 1, 9 minus lambda. So we we'll have multiplied by the determinant of 6 minus lambda, 2, 1, 9 minus lambda. This here is a 2 by 2. The determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix A, B, C, D is equals to A, D minus B, C. So that part that I've highlighted there will simplify to 6 minus lambda multiplied by 9 minus lambda minus 2. So our characteristic polynomial will become 4 minus lambda multiplied by 6 minus lambda multiplied by 9 minus lambda minus 2. I'll go on and expand this part here and the result that you get is minus lambda cubed plus 19 lambda squared minus 112 lambda plus 208. So what we are having there is the characteristic polynomial of the matrix A is minus lambda cubed plus 19 lambda squared minus 112 lambda plus 208. What we are having for the Kelly Hamilton theorem is saying Pn of A is equals to zero. So we need to substitute A where we have lambda in this equation here. So when you do that, we'll get P n of A is equals to minus A cubed plus 19A squared minus 112A plus 208. But what you are having there, this matrix here is a 3 by 3 matrix. So when you are having that 3 by 3 matrix, A cubed is A times A times A. This will result in us having a 3 by 3 matrix. So this part here is a 3 by 3. The A squared is just A times A or a 3 by 3 by 3 by 3 to give us another 3 by 3. So this part here is a 3 by 3 matrix. And this part here is just the matrix A is a 3 by 3. But when you look at this part here, it's just a constant. But you have to recall that when we are combining matrices, adding and subtracting them, we can only combine matrices which are of the same size. As I highlighted, those three that I've pointed out, they are 3 by 3. The last part there is not 3 by 3. So for us to be able to combine it with those other three, we would have to make that part to be a 3 by 3 matrix. And we can do that by introducing the identity 3 by 3 matrix on that part. 
So we'll multiply that part by the identity 3 by 3 matrix to enable us to combine it with the other three parts that I've highlighted. So our Pn of A will become minus A cubed plus 19A squared minus 112A plus 208 multiplied by the identity matrix. So that's our Pn of A there. And we are saying that our A is this matrix here, that's 3 by 3. So wherever we are having the A, we are putting that 3 by 3 matrix. And our result will be the minus A cubed plus 19A squared minus 112A plus 208 multiplied by the identity 3 by 3 matrix. Now looking at this part here, at the A cubed, that's A times A times A. For matrix multiplication is a row by column. And the result we'll get there when we evaluate that part that I've highlighted would have minus 258, 504, 346, 0, 64, 0, 173, 577. I now move on to the next part here, yeah, the squared, the A squared. This is just A times A. Matrix multiplication, row by column. It will give us the result 38, 56, 30, 0. 16, 0, 15, 44, 83. And uh, when you are looking at this part, we are just multiplying those matrices by constants 112 and 208. So when you multiply by 112 and the other one by 208, we would have the matrices 672, 560, 224, 0, 448, 0, 112, 336, 1008 and the matrix that is 208 on the diagonal there. So that's our Pn of A that we have, and to we'll, we'll go on and uh, simplify this part. Multiply throughout by the 19 and to we'll get uh, 722, 1064, 570, 0, 304, 36, 1577. Now we can uh, go on and uh, combine these four matrices. For matrix addition and subtraction, we'll be adding or subtracting the corresponding elements. And when we add and subtracting the corresponding elements of those four matrices that I've highlighted, what we get is a three by three matrix, which is elements which are all zeros, the zero matrix. So what we have shown there is uh, Pn of A is equals to the zero matrix. That is to say that given matrix is a zero of its characteristic polynomial. So we have verified the Kelly-Hamilton theorem for the matrix A, which is shown above there.